Can I start um, with giving the floor to David Waddle, who's joining us from BBC News? Hello, uh, thanks for taking this. Um, this question really about the value, the ethical value of linking um, our foreign policy objectives to aid. I don't know whether that's something that will happen, it's something that certainly could happen. And the question really is what ethical value is there in linking those two possibilities? Harriet, do you want to take that one first? Well, I can have a stab at it, obviously, um, from the perspective of uh, someone on the back benches, I think that, um, and someone who served in both departments, I think that uh, the foundation stones of, uh, uh, of global Britain and uh, what, what the UK projects externally is, is very much one which is founded on um, the values uh, of democracy, of freedom, of human rights, media freedom, the big media freedom conference we did last year. Um, uh, the uh, importance of hosting uh, COP26, you know, to bring together the world on, on climate action. Um, you know, all of the things that are embodied in the 17 areas of the Sustainable Development Goals, um, uh, the propagation of, uh, uh, of justice uh, around the world, believing that uh, a prosperous, healthier world is a, a more secure place for our our future. I think those are foreign policy objectives and those are um, objectives of the Sustainable Development Goals. So I think there's a lot of, of crossover and um, it was raised by a couple of um, uh, the other panellists um, about uh, the, the point seven. So I think it might be worth just pointing out that is actually in UK statutes, the, the point seven. So that's not something that can be changed um, uh, particularly easily and it's also something that all three major political parties committed to in their manifesto so I think we can take the point seven uh, as a given that should re re reassure Nadine on some of the points that she was raising from Australia um, and in terms of the uh, ethical underpinnings more generally um, you know what could be more ethical than seeking to achieve uh, a world where people live in freedom democracy, uh, climate resilience, uh, are well educated, are healthy, prevented from uh, dying from preventable diseases. I mean, I think the whole thing knits together uh, very powerfully if you think of the uh, things that the Foreign Office has been emphasising in the last few years and the things that DFID has uh, been working towards. Laura? Yes, John. Yeah, but if I may, I think, it's a, uh, I think it's an excellent question. It's a profound question. And I cannot speak about British experience, obviously. But, um, but uh, I go back to the original studies that founded the, or was the foundation of the bill. It was a, the, the aid was unfocused and it was spread poorly, et cetera, et cetera. And, and the interests of a nation are not necessarily the interests of poor people. And I, I don't think uh, that uh, this, this particular proposed merger is gonna help with that ethical dilemma in the least. Um, I'll give you a little example in Canada. So Canada is recently running for a security seat with, at the UN, which we lost um, uh, to, you, to Norway and to, the, to um, Ireland. Um, the, the, you know, we frankly ran around the world sprinkling little bits and pieces of aid money all over the place, not because uh, it was particularly useful or it had a particular beneficial, um, it was particularly beneficial to um, poor people. Uh, rather, it was in Canada's interest to try and get a seat on the UN. Well, it didn't work. So, I don't know, uh, so th these are the kinds of uh, dilemmas that um, uh, come up with some frequency. And, and, um, and I, would, um, I would encourage, uh, and, and certainly, um, our friends in the uh, my, our friends in the UK, you, you folks um, have a much more stellar record than do we. But um, you're going to keep on running into this uh, this uh, wall. Is it is it in UK's best interest uh, for this particular hundred million pound grant, or is it in the best interest of those that are supposed to receive it? So I just throw that out. Thank you. Amy, did you want to say anything on that or should I go to the next question? Um, yeah, sure. Um, I guess I'm afraid I'm going to do that really irritating thing, um, David, of saying that I think your question might be the wrong way around um, and suggest that there might be value in um, ethical value in tying our foreign policy objectives um, to our aid and development agenda. Um, I mean, the SEO already leads on some fantastic initiatives so, such as preventing sexual violence in conflict. Um, and so we can't 
you know, separate those two things. Um, but I think that holistic vision and ensuring um, that our foreign policy and our development policy um, are both benefiting and um, the world's most vulnerable children. And, you know, looking at um, the do no harm principle um, as a groundstone for everything that we do um, abroad um, might be helpful.